Hey, what's going on there, folks? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It is the Earth Master here on this Christmas Eve, 12 24, 2023, about 10 58 a.m. here, California time. Latest activity shows a 5.3 earthquake coming into the region of the northern edge here of the Kuril Kamchaka Trench. So, getting some movement taking place there in our major earthquake watch zone. Let's go ahead and check out the Iceland activity first here before we get into the rest of the uh, Earth on, and the uh, earthquake activity there. I uh, did see a little bit of over uh, overnight uptick here in the Grindavik region, northeast of Grindavik. Uh, about 63 earthquakes in total, though, uh, across the total region here of Iceland. But as you can see, listed up here on the map shows a notable amount of earthquake activity and roughly right around the region where we've seen the fissure activity although there's a certain little uh, area down here shown a little bit further uh, elevated activity around the Hagafell region that would be south of where the uh, current fissure activity had taken place which was uh, obviously a little bit further upstream here uh, to the region so we'll watch this keep an eye on it because we're still not out of the woods yet and seeing uh, the potential um, possibility of fissure activity closer to the town of Grindavik. I know they've stated here that it's less likely, but uh, you know, they can be wrong too. Definitely seen some earthquake activity uh, a little bit closer to town uh, in the last 12 hours. We'll continue to watch that. There's no further update on it uh, from the Icelandic Met Office and the uh, latest GPS stations here from the Savart Singhi region still shows continued uptick. Uh, this is that little drop here in the eruption as far as uh, just a slight deflation event, but we're still going back up here. This is the vertical displacement on the bottom. Uh, so we're continuing to watch that and uh, see what it wants to do. All right, West Coast out here in California lighten up slightly. A lot of red circles indicating movement here in the last hour. Although most of the movement here, generally small microquake activity. Got one earthquake here across the um, Bay Area, just south here off the San Andreas Fault, a little 2.2. And a handful of earthquakes further down south here across Southern California. Really not seeing anything major going on there today. Um, 4.0 way up into Washington. Now this one's about 51 kilometers deep. Now we got the Cascadia subduction zone that sits off the shore of Washington as well. Uh, and of course, 51 kilometers deep, that's, uh, that's definitely down there, um, probably below the trimmer region, further down into the subduction zone. Uh, so just a little activity occurring well below the Seattle area. Uh, a pair of earthquakes up here in Idaho, outside of Stanley, a couple twos coming in, and uh, a little bit of movement out in Texas today. Um... We did have a little, uh, at least I thought we had a little earthquake up here around the uh, northeast, but I'm not seeing it. I'm not for sure where it went to. Was it maybe this 2.7 up here? That may have been it from uh, a couple days ago. Well, let's see, 1223. Yeah, that was from yesterday or so. It doesn't look like we've seen anything overnight uh, in that area. All right, uh, let's see what else we got here. We do have some movement, of course, in the Kuril Kamachaka coming in right now. USGS has not picked up on it. Uh, the Alaska region still seeing some microquake activity out here. Uh, this earthquake way up north around the Brooks Range it was from yesterday, a little four-pointer. Uh, definitely have been seeing some notable uh, seismic increasing activity here across the Aleutian Trench recently. Uh, so we'll continue to watch that. There's an earthquake just popped up here from the USGS. Uh, they're reporting that as a 5.0. The northern edge, northern end of the Kuril Kamchaka Trench, uh, just off the coast there of Russia. Continue to watch that subduction zone. It's been uh, awfully quiet in terms of large-scale movement here recently. Uh, last night or yesterday, did see some activity into the um, Kilauea Volcano region south there, but this was a movement well underneath the area, about 26 kilometers or so. Doesn't look like we've seen anything stirring up uh, due to that deeper movement, but I do want to double check the latest uh, tilt meter activity out here, see where we're at uh, in terms of inflation across this region. Uh, Going to go check out this uh, tilt meter UWE, and it looks like we've took a, 
uh, a rise up here last two days of inflation here showing um, some decent inflation activity we are now at the highest level seen uh, and even higher than all the uh, previous inflation events here on this graph and we can go back a month or two and this would be the highest inflation since 2018 so something is still building underneath this area folks don't let your guard down uh, I believe we will see a uh, uh, tremendous earthquake activity prior to any uh, fissure activity opening up out there. Uh, let's check out the latest HVO um, update that was put out. Uh, that was last night during that um, deeper activity. They're south of Kilauea Volcano. Uh, they claim it's due to, uh, well, well, they say uncertain origin but most likely due to bending of the lithosphere beneath the Kilauea volcano. Uh, the location just to the northeast of uh, Mauna Iki is too far north to be related to the Pahala earthquakes, and its depth is well below the magma plumbing system within Kilauea in the region. Uh, these earthquakes are not related to the recent activity south and west of Kilauea and are not expected to lead to any significant changes, according to the professionals here. So Kilauea Volcano, currently not erupting. It doesn't look like they put out an update here yet today. I'm sure they'll get to it. Let's get back to the map here and see what else is going on. Um, further activity down along the Kermadec Trench here. Noticing uh, some movement coming in. Pretty deep, 371 kilometers here into the subduction zone for 4.6. Uh, aside from that, we did see one more shallow earthquake upstream here. Uh, in the Tonga area, pretty shallow at 10 kilometers here for a 5.4. As uh, far as New Zealand goes, uh, not really seeing anything showing up here on the Earthquake 3D globe, but that doesn't mean it doesn't happen. Uh, so I'm going to have to go over and check their official site. Last time they had a 5.0, neither the uh, USGS or the uh, EMSC model showed that earthquake for quite a while. Um, took them a little bit to put it on. For the most part, though, uh, looks like we've got a couple twos stirring up here uh, around the region of North Island and South Island as well. Uh, that's just the movement there in the weak uh, felt earthquakes. Let's see what we got. Um, I believe, let's see here, this activity kind of looks like it's related to the movement up along the Kermadec Trench, I think. I'm, I'm kind of chatting about this one right here uh, because I believe that one's, that one uh, popped up. Well, actually, I'd take that back here because this is uh, 1020, not quite an hour ago. Hard to say. It may be that 4.5. A lot of times the uh, activity along the Kermadec Trench will show up pretty nicely. Uh, across a few regions here uh, but either way it looks like uh, some generally small microquake out there in the region of the New Zealand area today we'll continue to watch that uh, for some further movement they have been somewhat elevated out here recently so just keep an eye be prepared uh, Philippine Trench did see some activity yesterday most of the movement here has been north and south of the Philippines uh, including that 4.4 down in the Papua New Guinea area Still looking at a little seismic gap zone here with lacking activity across the Solomon Islands and uh, around the Vanuatu area northward. So keep an eye on this region. Out in the uh, mid-Indian ridge here, did see a 4.8 uh, just about an hour or so ago. Just over an hour. A um, little divergent boundary out here. Separation of the seafloor in uh, one of these fracture zones, it looks like. Quite a few of them out there. Uh, a look at the rest of the globe. The Mediterranean regions there, uh, seen a handful of earthquakes, it looks like, including a 4.4 out here in the Mediterranean Sea. Uh, and the Atlantic Ocean, way down south, we got some movement into the South Sandwich Trench. That's coming off of a 4.8, it looks like. Uh, 46 kilometers deep here within the last couple hours. So things look like they are moving today. Getting some newer movement up here across the Kuro Kamachaka. And uh, just got to be safe out here. Sometimes we we see these large earthquakes pop up around holidays or around certain events or certain sequence of numbers uh, of course christmas time is a good time 
uh, to be uh, aware of what's going on out here in terms of earthquake potential and volcanic activity. Uh, so just be on guard today. Of course, have fun. If you celebrate the Christmas holidays here, I'm going to hang out with Missy Mimi's and the family and enjoy a little bit of Christmas uh, activities today and tomorrow. Uh, looking at the space weather activity here, seeing a couple M flares overnight, looks like. Uh, some very sharp, very uh, distinct M flare activity. Uh, looks like an M2.6 for the last one. The other one prior to that looks about the same. Uh, those appear to be coming off of 3529. That is an active sunspot region there on the southwestern quadrant of the sun. Um, 3529 yesterday did not look all that complex. Let's check out today's activity. Well, it roughly, looks roughly about the same, but apparently uh, it's strong enough to produce some type of flaring. Uh, let me see here which section that may have popped off on. Uh, kind of looks like the, uh, the far right side of that sunspot region. So potentially over here maybe. Uh, the rest of these areas here, they look uh, fairly stable. Kind of hard to say with that one, though. We'll continue to watch that, uh, see what our flare threat is. Looks like 99% chance for a C flare. M flare at 30, X flare around 1% chance. And uh, no major coronal holes facing us. Uh, do have uh, a whole lot of greenery on the chart. That means not a whole lot of auroras in the forecast. Storm Weather or Storm Prediction Center here calls just for uh, some thunderstorm activity down in the portions of uh, Texas and the south. That uh, looks to be the uh, case over the next couple days. Nothing major going on there for uh, severe weather potential. Do you have some rain coming in, it looks like, and some snow wrapping around the backside of the slow pressure system. That's going to be the northern plains uh, for the snowfall. Our next storm system out here in California looks to be around Wednesday. Um, not a big storm, a uh, little storm on the weekend as well. Um, and then it looks like as we head into the new year, uh, you know, chances of rainfall out there, but I'm, right now I'm not seeing anything major pulling up here in terms of any flooding potential, uh, activity across the West coast, but, uh, it does look like we'll remain active though, as we head into the new year. Uh, Yellowstone National Park, just a real quick check here at the Super Volcano. I'm really not seeing anything showing up here today. A uh, handful of smaller quakes around Old Faithful, it looks like, but those are generally super duper small, probably below 0.1. All right, folks, I'm going to jump off here and uh, enjoy a little bit of time with the family. We will be back a little bit later tonight, as always. Um, enjoy your time with the family and uh, happy holidays. Merry Christmas to those that celebrate it. And uh, we will catch you guys back out here a little bit later on this evening. Take care, folks. Stay safe.